Hey guys, so finally it's official. We have the Asus, the first quad core tablet now. It's finally official. We now know the pricing and everything. The Asus EPad Transformer Prime uh, that you will, as you can see here on this picture, you will be able to uh, use that with the first version. You will be able to use a keyboard. Weight uh, is around 500 grams. Use the Nvidia Tegra 3. I think it's, is it the KLL thingy? Yes, I think so. But the uh, kind of badass actually that it only weighed around 500 grams, 10 inch screen, 12 inch times 800. Um, so you will have that good, good, good display with Gorilla Glass that is very, you know, scratch resistant and all those things. 1 gig of RAM uh, and it comes with two sizes uh, 32 and 64 gigabyte versions but uh, it's kind of insane I mean we have seen demonstrations uh, of what you can do with this device and uh, you know that the gaming capacity it's it's insane uh, that you can do so many things at the same time and still it seems like the battery is going to be pretty decent at uh, 12 hours but what you should remember with quad core is that uh, I mean if you don't do many things at the same time uh, can you say that it's a dual core yes I, I think you can because I have a core i7 in my computer uh, but it, it works just like a dual core except when I you know rendering and do a lot of things at the same time so it's gonna be interesting to see if uh, that's something like um, uh, like uh, that you will be able, ha be able to have like heavy apps open up at the same time in the background and do a lot of uh, weird stuff uh, but uh, yeah, 499 for the 32 gigabyte version and then 64 gigabyte version for 599 and I think it's gonna sell pretty good because the pricing sounds very very good uh, for that 500 bucks uh, use as well, you know, that's the cheapest iPad that you can get the iPad 2 um, and this is also a 32 gigabyte model so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, if this one's gonna sell good i think it's going to because yeah it's the first quad core tablet we do know that these guys that try to be first in things usually don't do the best but uh yeah we will see uh it could be a really good success uh, and uh, the good thing is that i mean it, it, it looks just as a laptop when you plug in a kind of keyboard to it so it would be cool to see if you know some guy could uh, fire up, you know, Windows or something that, like that, uh, pour it over or something. I don't think so because I think it's kind of hard to uh, do it on that Android software because it comes with Honeycomb through and toe, uh, 3.2 not the new Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich but I, I think that you know some people could be disappointed in that but you should remember that Android 4.0 I mean they just unveiled it uh, like two weeks ago or something and I think it's, it's probably kind of hard to you know just change on something that they are planned for you know like months uh, when they went to launch this Transformer Prime but uh, yeah it's a badass tablet first quad core uh, the first quad core smartphone probably gonna be the HTC Edge but uh, we're gonna see next year uh, on the Mobile World Congress in January to see if Samsung and you know Moto and the uh, Moto you know Motorola uh, LG maybe if they also come up uh, with their own kind of quad core smartphones or if just HTC is gonna do that I think that they're probably obviously they're gonna get the competition uh, but it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen next year I don't think that quad core is gonna be extremely big next year uh, but uh, yeah 2013 2014 uh, then we're probably gonna yeah get used to it more uh, to be using smartphones and stuff like that but uh, it's badass it's cool and uh, yeah quad core <laughs> that's insane see you guys